Students ask me every day, what's the difference between the Cambridge exams, such as First Certificate and Advanced, and IELTS? Well, the simple answer is that if you want to go to university, then take IELTS. A university will generally ask for a score such as 6.0, 6.5, for example, um, in order to get access onto their course. So IELTS is marked with a sliding scale between 0 and 9. Anybody can take it at any level, but you will get a score rather than a pass or a fail. The Cambridge exams, as they're known, first certificate and advance, however, are generally a pass or a fail. You, you do also receive a grade A, B or C, or if you fail it, and this is still useful for the UK border agency, if you're looking for a visa, they will tell you if you're B1 or not. In terms of how often you can take them, IELTS is more flexible because they're available every two weeks on a Saturday and it only takes two weeks to get your result back. On the other hand, the FCE and CAE, um, they run every approximately six weeks at the moment, but you will have to wait far longer to get your results, in some cases eight weeks or more. So if you're in a hurry, go for IELTS. Um, which one's more fun? I would say Cambridge Advanced and Cambridge First Certificate and a really good course will lift your general English up, their general English exams. IELTS is purely academic language for university entry, so it's more, it's certainly a narrower um, course, very, very exam focused indeed. So if you're just looking for an objective to improve your general English, I would certainly recommend First Certificate and Cambridge Advance. And finally, how long are they valid for? Well, the IELTS is supposedly valid for two years only. Now this certainly is true for a UK border agency visa uh, application or for university entry. However, I would say an IELTS exam result on your CV, and this is speaking as an employer, uh, that's good for life. So there you are. They're the most important points, I think, and uh, good luck in your decision.